Hi there, it's Susan from Unity Fitness and Yoga. Welcome to your chair yoga practice today. I will be using a couple of blocks in our practice and a belt. So grab a couple of things that might work for you in your surroundings. If you don't have a yoga belt, some things that might work would be a bathrobe tie, a necktie, a scarf, even a towel. Uh, maybe not a towel for today. We're going to tie it around our legs a little bit. Um, but go, go ahead and grab something like that that'll work for you today. And we'll start by just scooting forward on your chair. We're gonna get right to it. Scoot forward on your chair. Heels will be underneath your knees and we'll sit up nice and tall. We'll take just a few moments, a couple of breaths just to arrive and allow us the opportunity to settle in before we begin. So if it's comfortable for you, soften and close the eyes. You could also just look down and soften your gaze and take a full deep breath in together. Exhale, part the lips, soft sigh out. Yeah, another deep breath in. Exhale, soft sigh out. If it's comfortable, then soften and close the lips. Just breathe in and out through the nose a few times. Just allowing your attention, your awareness to turn in so that you can truly arrive and begin to become more present. With the eyes closed and the awareness in, let's scan the body just briefly, head to toe. Let's notice what's there today. What calls your attention? No judgment of anything you discover. We're just tuning in so that we know our starting point today. Beautiful. All right. Let's blink the eyes open. We'll be starting our practice today with some eye movements. So we'll sit up really tall and we're not turning the head. I'll invite you, ask you to only turn the eyes. Okay. We'll, we'll move the, or we'll take the eye movements coordinated with the breath, just kind of matching movement with the breath. So we inhale here in the center, looking forward. As you exhale, turn your eyes to look to the right. And then inhale, bring them back to center. On your exhale, look to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale right. Center on the inhale. To the left on the exhale. Back to center. Let's do two more times. Center, left, center, right, center, and left. Could come all the way back to center, soften and close the eyes if that's comfortable. Just pause for a moment, letting the eyes take a break. And then we'll blink those eyes open. Let's do some vertical movements now. So we did horizontal. So inhale in the center. Good, let's look up. Come back to center as you inhale. And then exhale, look down. Inhale, center. Exhale, up. Center. Down. Center. Beautiful. Two more. Up. Down, up, and down. Get back to center once more. Soften and just close the eyes for a moment. And then we'll blink the eyes open. Take one hand, bring it out in front of you. Make like a thumb. Okay, right, thumbs up, thumbs up out in front of you. Now again, just moving the eyes, not the head. We'll take the thumb and you'll follow the thumb. We'll just be making circles. It doesn't matter what direction you start. We'll take about three or four circles in each direction. And 
your circle might be a different size than mine. Maybe your circle is a little bit smaller. Maybe it's a little bit bigger. Keep that thumb within your vision range, right? All right, let's reverse our circle. We'll go the other way. Around. Doing a good little eye workout today. Good. One more circle going this direction. And rest, bring the hands down. Let's take the two hands together and rub your hands, your palms together just a moment. Create a little heat between the hands. It's gonna be really nice and comforting for your eyes after that work. Once the hands are nice and warm, on the palms and the fingers, just gently to your comfort level. Palm the face, palm those eyes. You soften your gaze underneath the hands. Mm hmm. Mm. And release your hands back down to your thighs. Blink your eyes open. Good. Keep the spine really long. Bring your chin to your chest. Just some gentle neck rolls now. As you exhale, roll to your right. So the right ear moves to the right shoulder. And then exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, come up to the right. Or excuse me, to the left. Left ear to the left shoulder. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, roll to the right. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale to the left. Good, chin to the chest. Let's go a couple more times. Each direction, just moving nice and slowly. Not lifting the shoulders, not rounding the spine. Just rolling gently side to side. And I'm finishing with a roll to the left, come back to the center, and then lift the head, lift the gaze. Take your right arm and reach your right arm up. You could even imagine that you are reaching up to pick cherries or apples or something from a tree. We're gonna reach up, grab it. And then we've got a basket off to the left side, place it in the basket. We're gonna reach up and then place it in the basket. Good, reach and cross, reach up and cross. Let's do a few more of those from right to left. Up high to the right, down low to the left. Up and down, up, down. One more, we'll change sides. Good, the right hand will come down to the thigh. The left arm goes up, reach tall, and then cross it over, place it in that basket over on the right of you. Reach and place it. Up, place, up, good. Let's do three more. Up, cross, up, cross, up, stretch, and cross, and bring the hands back down. I'll use the blocks for this next. The blocks are optional. We'll do a goddess variation. And I'll place my feet up on the blocks. Uh, putting your feet up on blocks or elevating them in some way will give a little more stretch to the inner thigh and groin, but you could just as well keep the feet right down on the floor here for this. All right, so we sit up nice and tall, create some presence here. You're gonna press the feet down into the blocks or into the floor. Take your arms out wide like a T. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Now bend the elbows, open those fingers out nice and wide. So the arms are really active here. Inhale up tall. As you exhale, turn your torso and the arms to the right. And then inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, twist to the left. 
and come back to center. Good to the right and to center and left and center. Keep the arms active, kind of like squeezing the muscles around the bones. Elbows are up about shoulder height and keep those fingers opening really wide. Continue to bring some blood flow, some energy up to the upper body. Spine is long and tall. It's getting some rotational movements, working the sides of the waist. One more time, each direction. To the right, center, and to the left, and center, and place the hands all the way back down. I'll take the blocks, bring them out in front again, you don't need to have blocks for this. You could just have the feet down on the ground. But let's start by extending the legs out and bring those blocks so they're about hips distance apart. And we'll do some foot movements. So let's point the toes and then flex the feet and point and flex. Point. And flex. You might also experiment with squeezing the toes, right? As you point the feet, can you squeeze the toes, curl them in? And then as you flex the feet, see if you can spread those toes out wide. Point and curl. Flex and spread. Good. A couple more just like that. Beautiful. From the point and flex, what if we do some ankle rolls? Make sure you go both directions with those circles on the ankles, right? You might even be able to feel muscles warming up in the shins, the calves as we do this. And then placing the feet down flat, again, on the block or on the floor, We'll do inversion and eversion. So roll out to the pinky toe side of the foot so the soles of the feet are facing each other. Come back to center and then go the other way. And whoops, block just flipped. So you roll to the inner arch of the foot so the pinky toe side of the feet lift. And then come back to center, roll palm or palms, soles of the feet together. And pinky side lifts. Do one more like that. Wonderful. All right. Feet flat on the floor. And I will use one block for this. Again, an alternate for a block could be a firm pillow. You could even take a blanket and roll it up really nice and tightly for this. We'll take whatever you have and place it between your knees. So you're going to place it between the knees, sitting up tall, two feet flat on the floor. And then squeeze that block. Squeeze and hold it, not the breath. We're going to continue to breathe normally as we squeeze. Now, release the squeezing, but don't let the block drop. And then we're going to squeeze again. Hold for four, three, two, one. And then release. Again, not letting the block drop. Let's do three more like that. So five in total. Squeeze the block. So we're strengthening inner thighs. Three, two, one. One, and release, and squeeze, two, three, four, five, and release, one more. Squeeze, two, three, four, and five. Ah, release that. You can set the block off to the side. Whatever belt you have to stretch, grab that, please. And... I have, I've made a loop in my belt. If you have a buckle, you can do that. Or alternatively, you could take whatever it is that you have, your belt, your scarf, your tie, and just tie it around the thighs. So it's nice and tight, but we've got a little bit of space here, right? So I'm placing the belt about inner thigh or inner thigh, middle thigh and I'll sit up tall again. Now I'm gonna press into the belt. So now strengthening outer hip and thigh. And then we'll hold it for four, three, two, 
and one and release, right? So whatever it is that you're using, just make sure that it's not gonna come apart on you. All right, let's do that. We're gonna do five in total, just like we did for the inner thigh. We're gonna press into that belt, really squeezing and engaging the muscles in the outer thighs, outer hips, and soften and release. Got three more, squeeze out, pressing out, and release. Two, press, 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 and release. Whoo, one more, press against that belt. Three, two, and one, huh. release. Let's set that off to the side. We'll come back to it in just a moment. But let's do a little bit of bigger movement style. We'll do a seated sun salutation variation. Let's begin by inhaling, stretch the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, hands come down to the thighs for support. Hinge forward at the hip and come into a forward bend. So we hinge at the hip, keeping the spine as long as you possibly can. Now we're gonna inhale and reverse that. Look forward first. Come up to a long spine, press into the ground. As you come upright, squeeze your right knee towards your chest. And then exhale, set the foot down, inhale, cow pose. As you exhale, round the back for cat. Inhale to cow pose. Good, neutral spine. Now left knee comes up toward the chest. And then we'll exhale, set it down, and move back into your forward bend all the way down. You might even let the hands come down to the floor. Now let's reverse that. Look forward, find a nice long spine. Use the feet, press down. Inhale those arms all the way back up. And then lower the arms all the way back down to the thighs. Let's do that again. Inhale, stretch the arms tall. Exhale, hands come down to the thighs, heart reaches forward as you come into forward bend. We inhale to reverse it, look forward, press into the feet, bring yourself upright, long spine, squeeze the right knee in, exhale, set it down and round the back like a cat. We're going to inhale into cow pose and then exhale, squeeze the left knee into the chest. And we'll set it down, forward bend all the way down. Again, maybe feet come to the floor or to the shins. You can certainly keep them on the thighs as well. Let's reverse it to bring yourself upright. Come all the way up, reach the arms up and lower the arms down. Let's do one more like that. Inhale upright. Exhale, hands to the thighs, forward bend all the way down. Inhale, bring yourself upright. Squeeze the right knee into your chest as you inhale. And then exhale, round the back like a cat. Inhale, cow pose, we're arching the spine. You might look up. And then exhale, knee squeezes in. Set the foot down, forward bend all the way back down. Inhale, reverse it, look forward, arms reach up overhead, and we'll exhale, lower the arms all the way down. And just take the two arms, stretch them back up overhead, flex the wrists, right? So maybe the palms of the hands are reaching toward the ceiling, arms extending, shoulders away from your ears. Now hold this extension in the arms and tilt forward at the torso or tilt forward, not at the torso, at the hips. So from a side view, notice I'm not rounding the back, the spine stays really long, but I'm getting this really great extension in the arms, shoulders away from the ears, doing a little strengthening for the back side of the body. Let's inhale, bring yourself all the way back upright and lower the hands back down. So we'll call that a seated downward facing dog variation. And we'll do that two more times, all right? Inhale, arms reach up, flex the wrists, so palms face up, shoulders are away from the ears, but I'm getting this really great extension through the, the arms. Now tilt forward at the hips, you can feel the back muscles working all along the length of the spine. Let's stay for three, two, 
and one all the way up and lower the arms down once more just like that inhale arms reach up flex the wrists shoulders away from the ears really long extension and then tilt forward and breathe and inhale all the way back up and lower the arms down Go ahead and grab your belt again. I'll also use one block for this. Again, the block is optional. You could just have the foot on the floor. We'll take the belt and bring it around the bottom of your right foot as the right leg extends out with a flexed foot. We'll inhale, long spine. And then as you exhale, tilt forward at the hip keeping your spine elongated just until you start to feel a stretch in the back of that right leg. One more breath here. Inhale, bring yourself upright, release the belt. We'll take it to the other side. So you can slide that block over, belt comes around the bottom of the left foot, left leg extends out, flexing the foot up long and tall. And as you exhale, tilt forward at the hip just until you feel that sensation in the back of the thigh. One more breath. And now come all the way upright. We're done with the belt. So you can set that off to the side. We will use the block though. We'll continue with the block. We'll take a warrior one variation and a warrior two variation. I'll be using the block in this way. I'll place the block in front of my chair and now turn to your right. So my right thigh, right sit bone are still on the chair and I'll bring the left knee down to the block. So we've got this sense of grounding through both legs. So my right foot is grounded here, right thigh is grounded. The left knee is grounded on the block and I've got my toes curled under, back behind. Long spine, let's take warrior one first. Inhale, we'll reach the two arms up overhead. May even turn your gaze to look up as well. So the arms go up, the spine goes up, but shoulders are always drawing down. So we keep a lot of freedom in the neck. Let's stay for three more breaths here. We'll lower the arms down and transition to warrior two. We'll keep the legs pretty much the way that they're at, but instead of having yourself turn toward the right knee, turn your torso more toward the length or the side of your chair. And then we'll float the arms up parallel so that your right arm reaches over the right leg and your left one goes back behind you. Your gaze is still to the right though, looking out past those right fingertips. Shoulders are down, even though we're lifting the arms and extending them out in opposite directions. Let's stay three breaths more here. And then lower the arms down, turn yourself forward, and then go ahead and just turn yourself over to the left, make any adjustments to the placement of the block. So now I've got the left thigh and sit bone on the chair, left foot firmly grounded, right knee is grounded on that block. Warrior one first, inhale, arms high. One more breath. 
We'll lower the arms down as we transition to warrior two, turning torso so it's kind of facing to the right as we float the arms up parallel. Left fingertips, left arm is extending over the left leg and the right one is back behind you, still gazing to your left. One more breath, please. And let's lower the arms down. Bring yourself back around to the front, facing forward. Let the hands rest down on top of the thighs. Sitting tall, if it's comfortable, soften and close the eyes. Or again, just look down and soften your gaze. Take just a moment to tune in first. So scan the body head to toe. Maybe notice what's changed. Notice what it is now to be in this body in this moment. Let's bring your awareness to the breath. In fact, place one hand on the belly. Move into some diaphragmatic breathing. So as you inhale, I want you to expand the belly into the hand. And as you exhale, navel will draw back toward the spine. Inhale, big belly breath. Exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Let's take a few more of those. A diaphragmatic breath, a deep belly breath. And you can release the hand from the thigh, the belly now. Let it rest back down on top of the thigh. Continue being aware of the breath. Let's shift into ujjayi breathing. So let's begin with an inhale through the nose. Exhale, part the lips, just a soft sigh out. <sighs> Pay attention to that constriction in the throat as you exhale through the mouth. Let's do that again. Inhale. Exhale, part the lips. <sighs> soft sigh. Let's keep the mouth closed now. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose, but feel like you're still exhaling through the throat, through the mouth. In through the nose. Out through the nose. But still feel it in the throat. And just continue this on your own. So ujjayi breathing or ocean breathing. So your breath may sound to you a bit like an ocean wave. Three more rounds of ujjayi breath, please. Now release the ujjayi breathing, release the control over the breath, but continue to watch the breath as it moves in and out. We use the breath as the focal point for our closing meditation today. Let's continue breathing in and out through the nose. 
just watching the breath. And when you notice that you've thought a thought or went down memory lane, maybe an emotion pops up, acknowledge that those things happen, but just come back to the breath. Let's come back to watching the breath. Keep coming back to the breath every time. Now let the breath go. It's pausing for a moment, noticing the effects of our yoga practice and our breathing. And we'll close today by bringing hands in Anjali Mudra, palm against palm, as you bow into your chest. This a gesture of gratitude closing with gratitude to yourself for taking this time for you today. And as always, I thank you so much for sharing your yoga practice with me. Namaste.